Hi guys. Welcome to my new setup that I will be doing here. I've looked at quite a lot of videos on the leopard gecko and the crested gecko. And there seems a difference in the leopard geckos didn't seem very responsive, a bit slow and a bit dim. You know, if anything, where the crested gecko seems a bit more responsive. I end up getting a bigger terrarium because I do not want to have to set up the soil in my lower one, which is like about 32 high, and then have to then upgrade and move all the soil around. And the stuff I've also got ready to put in this is BioLife Hydro Balls. We'll go at the bottom. Then I have Hydro Fleece. Uh, some people use a mesh, but I've, they didn't have that. They got the fleece. That's what they recommended. Whether that's a UK thing or not, I don't know. Then we've got the actual bio soil. Bio life soil there. And then on top of that, I can have some of the bark chips. And this one's... Uh, Komodo, got that from the range, and I also got the bedding, which uh, I don't know, totally suitable for this particular, if I get a crested gecko, but for a lizard gecko, it's fine, and maybe some others. I thought I'd get it anyway, it was only a few pound, not much. I've got a vine, medium sized vine, that's also Komodo. This is all the products the range do, along with a thermometer and a hygrometer, which is basically the humidity. So, also got the thermometer and humidity monitors there that will go inside on the glass. And I've just got myself a little bug feeder, or to feed the, you know, feed them bugs. I've also got the spring towels. You can see the little white things there crawling about, ready to go in the soil. So let me unpack this and get it going. A 45, like my one previously, and 45 high. It has dual windows at the front there, and this lock. At the top, we've got stainless steel mesh cover for ventilation. It's easy to access and get inside to switch these. And then you can get into uh, the top. This is how I will fill and put the soil in. I will not be putting it through the glass doors. That will be for maintenance and things. Or maybe just feeding the, the lizard that I'm going to have or the gecko. At the back it does have closable inlets for wires. And it also has a raised waterproof bottom frame. You can put wires underneath. Maybe a heater. Uh, at the back you also have a cutout for back wires or tube in. As you can see there's the gaps for having the wires and things running down the back. This actually comes with a rock background which is uh, something I wouldn't be able to maybe get if it was second hand the ones I was looking at. So that's why I've gone with this brand new one. So first of all, we're going to put the layer down of the, the drainage medium, which is the hydro. Uh, but it needs rinsing first. I'm going to sieve it. There's so much muck. Okay, guys, I put that in. I've got about two inches in there, five centimetres. Now it's time for the separation mesh, or in this case, separation fleece. Now I'm going to cut this to the width of the tank, so I've got a little bit of that can bend up. A little bit extra. Okay. So I've cut it the width, but it's actually a little bit wider, the product comes with. So I'll, I'll keep that, and I'll lay that on top. Since I've got the back wall, I can use the shorter length that I've cut for that. 
So it goes up a little bit of the edges. So when the saw comes in, it'll have a bit of protection. If you don't like that, I think I might cut that back a bit more. That's a bit too much. So I've got that in place. And now, the bio, the bio soil. I'm gonna put that in. That's actually already got some bark in that, which is pretty good. I'm gonna put in, well I have put in over half. I'm gonna move that out. That has given quite a lot of uh, depth. It's covered my little raised parts. I think for now I might leave it at that and then when I put a plant in, can add more in that particular area and section that I want to but yeah it's coming on a little bit there and I'm gonna add some more bark chips one of the plants that I want to use I've had in my bathroom for a while and it's quite a hardy plant uh, it, I've had this quite a while and it's it, 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 it stays well so I'm really happy about this plant and I've seen these in some other people's tanks. This is what I'm hoping to put in. It might be a bit tall. Mother of tongue plant which uh, I've had for a while. Which will now, should better fit in this tank no problem. I need to get the roots out. This old... And then take some of this soil off. This soil's been here for ages, so it's not like it's got uh, any pesticides in there or fertilizers. And then once I get the roots a bit barer, it will be able to go into the other soil a lot better. I don't know if this will break in half and I can have two plants, but it looks like I can. Brilliant. I've got the two plants in there. and push the soil up onto them and move the bark a little bit more forward. Don't really need all the soil just there just yet. Put my vine in, a couple of different areas you can go to. I, I may move that to the back, I'm not sure, but now it's time for the isopods. And then once this is in ready, I can then go and get my lizard. I just find it easy to open from the back, like that, and then put that soil in on both plant areas, that's fine. There we go, cut the spring tails in the bark. This uh, Hydro Balls media, it's moist which is good. Uh, I do feel that I potentially could have gone to about the width of my finger above. There's quite a lot in there. I've added uh, some succulents. The Hobbit. This is on my webpage. If you have a look, I've got a description of some plants you can choose. But I've got one long bark and I cut it into two. Put the shorter piece up here. At the moment, the snake plant, which is very sturdy, is holding that up. I've got a twig in there. I've taken the vine out for a temporary but that will be going back in and I've got a nice plant back there which is also listed on the page. If you look at the description it's in there and here we've got my temperature and humidity monitors up. The humidity is about 70. It's not doing too bad. I haven't and I've watered that yesterday and I've got my sprayer I'm going to give that a little bit of a spray update. Help these plants get their roots going. To spread. And just spray everything. Although at the moment without the lizard in there or without the gecko, I don't have to worry too much about uh, watering everything for it to get some moisture. I mainly want to get the plants established. These Hobbit ones I put on the right hand side because they need 
more sun and more light. And they are pretty cool looking and they're, they're doing okay. Uh, so basically I've got a 21 degrees temperature in there. 